Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jaded Blossom and it's my day to take over the Jaded Blossom blog. I have a Rolodex birthday Rolodex card and a birthday card to share. So I'm using the, our rainbow dies, our Rolodex dies, our month word dies, our St. Patrick's word dies, spring dies, one version two, cloud stencil, rectangle dies. So I'm just pulling up my Wendy, Ar uh, Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station and I'm gonna be doing some ink blending using the cloud stencil on the two things that I cut out. That's a stitch rectangle die and also um, the Rolodex die. And those are cut out using uh, Paper Tray Inks white cardstock. And I'm just taking a blender brush. This is a generic one. And I'm using tumbled um, glass distress ink and distress oxide ink, sorry. And I'm gonna blend on some really light background clouds on these two white backgrounds that I'm making. So I've got something um, to share with you too today. I'm using something a little different. So I'll tell you about that once I get to it. There we go. So now I'm just blending on some ink and I'm trying to make myself a nice little background for my grouping. So that's gonna be a Rolodex card and that's gonna be for March because you know I've been kind of doing that, you know, making one for each month for my birthdays. There we are. So now I'm just quickly blending on some Distress Oxide ink. And like this is super easy peasy. You know, like I said, um, you know, not rocket science. Now this is very, very um, subtle. And in the pictures, it doesn't really come across, you know, super well. Hopefully once I edit the pictures, it'll be a little bit brighter. Um, but um, there we go. So now what I did was I took our rainbow dies and I traced around the edge to give myself something to um, tape down my rain tape my rainbow to. I do that a lot. And I also tested out the colors that I wanted to use for my Copics on that rainbow. So now I'm just taping down a piece of um, purple, um, purple tape basically. And I'm using that to hold my little rainbow arcs so I can color them. So I'm using B37, BG05, G07, Y19, YR07, and R27 for the rainbow colors. And I just kind of chose them using my Copic chart and, you know, some doodlebug papers that I'm using um, just to try and, um, you know, choose a pleasing set of colors. So that's what I did. So now I'm just quickly using that broad tip to color them in. Now you could have cut these out of solid card stocks, patterns, whatever, but I chose to make it easy for myself and just cut it out of white and add some color with some Copics. So um, yeah, so I love these rainbow dies from Jada Blossom. I don't use them enough. I think I should use them more. They're just super cute. There we go, especially this one-sided arc. It comes in super handy. So there we are, adding the last bit of color and then I'll be sticking them down to this um, outline that I did. Basically, I just trace the outline of the whole die and cut it out, and then anything that's, you know, hanging off after, I'll just trim up, and you'll never know what's there. But at the beginning, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be popping this rainbow up or what I was going to do, and it's easier to stick the rainbow down when you have a backing to it if you're gonna pop things up. But I chose to just stick it flat, so it didn't really matter in the long run, but that, you know, what are you gonna do? Hindsight's 2020. So there we are. So I just used my ATG gun to add some tape to that background piece so I can just quickly lay these down and tape them all in place. I do this a lot when I'm using like those um, jaded blossom dies that have like cut out centers and you know the triangle the those fancy triangle background dies where you can inlay the any kind of inlay is what this is what I do. Just makes it easier, I find. So there we go. So now I've got my rainbow all set and I'm just going to trim off the edges once I get make sure everything's straight. There we go. And then we're just going to trim off anything that's hanging off. Those are my EK Success little uh, scissors. They've got non-stick blades and whenever I'm doing any fine cutting, these are the ones that I grab for just because they're like little and I feel like they can get into little places. So that's what I like to do. There we go. So now I've got a piece of paper train white cardstock cut at 4.25 by 11 inches and I'm scoring it at five and a half so I can have a vertical A2 size card, which is kind of my preferred card, you know, orientation. Now I've got a piece of 
uh, paper from Doodlebug's Pot of Gold 12 inch line. And that is uh, four and an eighth by five, an eighth smaller than five and a half, whatever that is, inches. So it's basically an eighth smaller than a, you know, a 4.25 by five and a half inch card. And I just cut that out using my paper trimmer. There we go. Now I'm going to put my centered piece, that's the little rectangle that I just blended. I'm using my HEG gun again, and I'm gonna stick that down in the center. And um, you know, I'm a little bit challenged with these things, but I'm gonna try and get it as centered as I can. There we go. And I'm built basically just building a scene. So now this is my um, um, piece of grass that I cut out of, uh, let me see, the uh, Grasshopper Dot 12 inch pattern paper from Doodlebug. And I used the Spring version two, or no, Spring Dyes version two from Jada Blossom for that. Now these are cool. These are actually from Dorky Doodles. And I used their Simply St. Patrick's Day and the St. Patrick's Day word art. And um, obviously the one with the words on it is the word art and the other one is just the Simply St. Patrick's Day. And they're clip art. So you, I printed them out on my um, printer and then I cut them out using my brother scan and cut with a 0.4 inch or with a 0.4 border. And I'm going to be using them on my cards today. Super cute, cute, cute clip art over there. You got to check them out. So now there is that same piece of grass. And what I did was, is I cut the, cut it out first with the Rolodex die and in the bot like just the bottom part and then I laid the grass dye over top of that and cut it out again so you know you get a perfect little matching bottom with the tabs and everything for your Rolodex so you know super cute eh there we are and these are the clouds now from the rainbow stencils and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to quickly build um you know a little pleasing scene now that is paper again from um, the pot of gold 12 inch paper line and that is from the St. Patrick's Day dies from Jaded Blossom and I'm planning on putting that up kind of like as a tab up at the corner there. So now I'm going to pop up that cute little um, image from Dorky Doodles on my um, Rolodex die using my 3M foam tape. Because, you know, if I'm covering a larger area, I like to use 3M foam tape. It just makes things easier for me. There we go. And now I'm going to use the word March that I cut out, out of uh, Rainbow Petite Prince Gingham Linen from um, Doodlebug. That's their six inch paper pad. And that's in the yellow. Um, there we go. And I'm just going to be adding the word March. That's from the March, or no, from the um, month. What are they called? month word word dies sorry guys from jaded blossom and i'm just like i said i added that on the front of that uh, little cauldron or pot of gold i guess you'd call it um with um my zig two-way glue pen and my ek success uh tweezers there i'm doing the same thing over on the card now so i've got my cute little um pot of gold there now I'm trying to decide what I'm, what I'm going to do with this rainbow. And my plan was, is I was going to use part of it on the Rolodex and part of it on my card design. And it just saves some time and, you know, effort. There we go. So that's how much I'm going to use on that. And I'm going to use the rest on this card. So I'm making it look like the little pot of gold is at the end of the rainbow. Wouldn't that be great? There we go. So I don't know, do you guys send out um, St. Patrick's Day cards? I do from time to time. Once I amass enough of them, I will send them out. So usually, you know, every couple of years I send them out, depending on if I make a lot that year, then I might send them out. Um, I find any, any reason to send a happy card out is a happy thing. You know, it's nice to get a card in the mail, a homemade card rather than a bill. So now that little tiny shamrock with a stitching, or I don't think that one has stitching, sorry. That's from the St. Patrick's Day um, dies from Jaded Blossom again. And I'm planning on popping that up, like I said, on top of that little word art um, clip art from um, Dorky Doodles. There we go. Isn't that cute? So now those are where my clouds are roughly going to go. I'm going to stick those all down with my Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue. 
There we go. And those are all cut out of paper tray and um, white cardstock too. There we go. And I'm probably going to pop that guy up. Now, at the end of this video, I didn't show it, but I did cut off the edges of those cards that are overhanging. Um, you know, just so it'll fit in an envelope. But that's super easy to do. I didn't bother showing it. There we are. So now I'm going to stick down that rainbow with the Simon Says Stamp Craft Hacky Glue again. And I'll just cut off the edge using my scissors. Yeah, super cute. I'm loving these little new clip art printables from um, Dorky Doodles. They're so cute. And they mix up perfectly with the Jaded Blossom dies and stamps. What can I say? There we go, which is kind of handy, right? So now I'm going to add a few little clouds to my little Rolodex. Now, you know, the neat thing about these Rolodex is you can just de decorate them, decorate the heck out of them, and they're just adorable. Now I'm using that little shamrock as kind of almost like a tab. And I'm going to um, stick it down, like I said, using my ATG gun just at the top so it overhangs. And then I've got another one to kind of sandwich it on the back to make it kind of thick and make it a nice tab. There we go. Pulling out that glue again. Yeah, so super cute. Yeah, I'm just, I, I can't believe I'm making Rolodex dies. I keep saying this, you know, it's shocking to me because it's just something I never thought I'd get into, but here I am making these Rolodex dies. And they're fun. Go figure. So now I'm adding on these clouds. I love these clouds from the rainbow dies. They're my favorite clouds that I have. Uh, Jada Blossom has some other clouds too, which are cute, but I'm telling you, there's something about these rainbow dies clouds that, that I just love. So now that is also, that little button shape is also from the um, St. Patrick's Day dies from Jada Blossom. Um, Blossom. And I'm using um, American Crafts twine. I'm just going to tie a little bow there and stick it on. You saw that I popped up that little uh, button shape um, with a Stampin' Up Dimensional. That's kind of my deal. I'm just going to cut off the tabs. And I'll glue that down because you can have as much dimension as you'd like on your Rolodexes. You don't really have to worry about, you know, sending it in the mail. So um, I just find they're lots of fun to do. Just tons of fun. There we go. So now there is my March. You'll notice that I cut out one side using the linen and one side using the gingham. I'm not sure which one you prefer. I kind of like a lot of pattern. So um I don't know, I kind of lean toward the gingham myself, but you'll have to let me know what you think. There we go. So I'm just going to add that word March. And then it's going to say Happy March Birthday, sort of similar to what I've done on the, in the past videos. Um, that is from the Happy Hello stamp set from Jaded Blossom. And I pre-heat embossed the Happy and the Birthday um, with uh, Ink on Three's Juicy Ink, along with uh, Ranger's Fine Detail White Embossing Powder. So there we go. And then I just trimmed it out with my paper trimmer. And it's lots of fun, you know, lots of fun. I love using, um, you know, these little, these little word dies, just literally, you know, for birthday cards. It's so fun. I think they'd be great on little calendars too, which, which would be fun. And, you know, on the Rolodex dies. Now I'm going to be adding some little um, shape sprinkles, the rainbow hearts in yellow. And I'm going to um, add them in yellow. And, it, and here comes Sammy. He's telling you a story. Sorry, guys. I didn't shut my door, so I've got a cat in here talking to me now. Although he's adorable, you know. Gotta let the cats do what they want to do. So now I'm adding, like I said, these rainbow hearts. And you'll notice that I do move them in the final pictures. I do that a lot. I'll put them down and I'll be like, nope, don't like that. So I do move one of these little hearts in the card. Because you see, I was kind of struggling. Didn't really like it, but I, you'll see it in the end pictures. Anyway, so thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to come by and watch my uh, next video. I think I'll have one soon. And that's about all. Make sure to swing on by Jaded Blossom to get some dies and stamps and, and dorky doodles for some clip art. Thanks, everyone. Bye.